Well, I was having a great little hootenanny out in the deck. That was a good idea. This song, you know, uh, I wrote uh, the basic chord stuff at this place called uh, The Stash. It was a head shop on 82nd. And uh, kind of about a Hawthorne in 82nd. And uh, then it turned into the metal shop. Before that, though, the guy that owned it, he used to own head shops all over. And he was the manager for this band called White Lightning that had Jesse Sample and uh, it had Brad Simpson, the drummer for the Ravers. And so, you know, I was playing around town a lot, and uh, the Ravers uh, kind of broke up, so we weren't, we weren't playing. But I on a, a guitar much like this one, and Ivan as Iceman, that I got from a guy named Kevin Gron, who had it made because they weren't in production yet, and he was a big Kiss fan. I traded the a, a really sweet all black Thunderbird Gibson bass that used to belong to. Ray Molson, Julian Raymond, who uh, was in the band Movie Star in Black and Blue, before Black and Blue. So, uh, here's a little history, but uh, we'll do it with no pick. I wrote this song, the chords, I didn't really have a chorus or anything, and uh, it ended up being Born to Rock, and... The song was about uh, Danny Kurth's sister, Diana, who I had a big, huge crush on. She was a sweetheart. I really liked her. And uh, I get to practice early because everybody else would always be late. And uh, I ended up hanging out with her in her room quite often and, or with his mom and her watching, uh, I think we watched Leave it to Beaver. <laughs> but yeah, I thought she was cute. Really cute. And really nice. And... Uh, it went like this. song for that's the person the song was about and uh i wrote it because i had a massive crush on her and uh why not be honest right okay uh she's blonde she's bubbly and uh she's super nice and uh 
And she really did that. She would be in her room singing and uh, like nobody could hear outside or maybe she wanted people to hear outside, but uh, we could all hear at the... Uh, I know she probably took a lot of criticism for uh, doing it, but uh, hey, that was that song. Let's see, 